What's up YouTube, Maggie Tutorials here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the rumbles from a wired Xbox controller. There are some pros and cons, so let me tell you those first. The controller becomes lighter. If you can't turn the vibration off in game, it will be off forever. It saves battery if your controller is wireless. The cons. If you unplug them, it will not work with an Xbox. If you snip the cables, you can't reinstall the rumbles. It voids your warranty as soon as you take the sticker off. Before starting this video, I need to remind everyone that I am not responsible for any damage done to your Xbox, computer, controller, or yourself. The first thing to do is unplug your controller, or if it's wireless, take out the battery pack. Again, if it is wireless, just charge the controller by pressing the on button a few times. Flip the controller over and start unscrewing the screws in a star formation to keep the pressure off the logic board. There will be one last screw under the sticker here or under the battery pack that you'll need to get rid of. Before taking the lid off, make sure your hands are clean and your body is discharged. Touch a metal surface like your computer or desk. After taking the screws out, gently lift off the back. Make sure you don't lift up the middle bottom part or it will be annoying to put back together. Same goes for the bumpers. The rumbles are super obvious, so if you miss them, I blame you. Now if you're going to plug this into your Xbox, you will have to cut the wires to trick the Xbox into thinking they are still plugged in. If you have a PC, you can do the same thing or unplug them if you ever want to plug them back in. It should unplug just like a computer fan, but it could take a bit more tugging. If your controller is wired, you will have to jimmy the wired part back into place to sit in between the shell and the logic board. If the bumpers came out, you will need to make sure the holes go over the screw holes before you put the logic board back on. You can now screw everything back together and plug it in. If it does not light up or work, take it back apart and make sure everything is connected right. Again, I am not responsible for any damage done. So that's how to take the rumbles out of your Xbox controller. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, subscribe.